Okay, welcome back to Sweet Home, and hopefully this time I know what I'm doing. Because I checked the guide. <laughs> yes, I had to check a guide, because I'm pathetic. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a real gamer, I never was. I'm a supposer my whole life. You saw nothing. Yes. Anyway. I am a dumbass, because... I thought that blue statue down there, by the rope ladder, was what we had to melt. And now it was gone, so we screwed up the puzzle. But no! We backtrack a little bit, and we will see why I'm an idiot. There's another door. I don't know if I want to try opening it, though. Yes, yes. Run. Run, you fools. Run. No, it's not that statue. Or is it? Actually, yes, it is. See, I'm that much of a dumbass. Push, push, push. Push. Oh no, it's melting. What's this? Hmm. A tool. Okay then, I'm not questioning that. Use the key. Because there's something in here we want. And yes, this is that room. But we... I'm safe state in case I mess this up again. We want to read this. Takashi, need the tool to go below. Thank you! We want this too, actually. Uh, we don't need gloves. And we'll know where to get them if we need them anyway, so... Hooray. Basically, a bow replaces a rope much, much better. So, yeah. Is that the kind of lethal poison? Yes, it is. Oh, boy. Another time-wasting occurrence. I wish this emulator had a turbo key. That would be so sweet. Anyway, we want to give these losers the bow we just picked up. And replace for their rope. Who has the tool? I think Emmy does. Yes. there for a second. I'm sorry. I wasn't reading the guide or anything. Honest. Honest, I wasn't. Yeah, not much to say to this episode. Well, not today, because I'm doing these all in the same day. Use the tool. Oh my god, what's happening? Hello, what's this? Welcome to the basement. And we're gonna save state because something cool happens soon. Yes. That's fire over there. We can't walk over that without getting damaged. However, we need to get through that fire. And we've only got one fire extinguisher. How sad. Ooh, hello. Wrath. Or Wraith. I don't know how you would pronounce that. Those are going to be the coolest looking enemies in this game that I've seen. No, I want to party again. God, I'm such a space case today. Well, not today, this episode. Well, I guess today. I'm tripping over my words. No, your skeleton key doesn't work here, Emmy. Ha ha. Ooh, are those pitchforks? I think they are. Oh, God. Bastard trick game, bastard trick. Anyway. Yeah. If one of these is a pitchfork. No. No. But. These are pretty good weapons. But there are two items called pitchforks, I think they are. Anyway. They're the strongest weapons in the game. And they have about, I think it's 149 physical attack and 140 spiritual attack. Where is Emmy? <sighs> okay then, I can play this game. I hate those wisps. 
But yeah, forks aren't anything to laugh at either. They have like 60 60, I think. I still haven't explained about weapons yet, haven't I? Well, I can do a little quick explanation here, I suppose. Physical attack. Well, no. Weapons have two types of attack statuses, statistics, whatever. Physical and spiritual. Physical will do more damage to stuff like zombies, ghouls, what have you. And spiritual would do more damage to ghosts and that enemies of that nature, so. It's good to keep them balanced, but, like, I think Asuka has it, but, yeah. Compared to the Soul Sword, I mean the Long Sword, the Soul Sword has about 40 more spiritual attack than it, but it has about 30 less physical attack, so. It's good for ghosts, but not anything else that requires physical strength. Like this. This would be a prime example of what's hurt by... Spiritual. See, I'll test this out here. 27 to 24. 33 to 25. What am I doing? I almost screwed up the experience again. So, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh these guys are mean. Die, please. I don't want to die here. Yeah, see, 70, 68... Those are your two forks we picked up, and they've got about, like I said, 65, 70, all, so. Yeah, I'm safe dating again in case I don't find it. Hello, who are you? You look like a palette swap of Kazuo to me, but let's talk to you. I need a new shovel to continue. Oh, you have one for me? No. If we flood this place, the fire will be put out. And if you couldn't tell, that was a little voice acting. And the shovel is all the way back out in the garden. Sigh. Oh, I'm not fighting you again. Screw you. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'll explain that, and then I'll pause it to get the shovel. If an enemy blows wind, it acts just like one of those wisps, and it'll knock whoever it hits somewhere random in the mansion. The only difference is, when the wind is blown, instead of getting hit with a wisp, if you can understand what I'm saying, because I can't really, it could be anywhere. Most wisps, excuse me, <clears throat> most wisps have a location they'll drop off when they hit you, but wind will hit anywhere in the mansion, so. I think it's possible to get trapped and screw up the game from being hit by wind, so. Or I could be 100% wrong, and it could be just like Wisps. But we want this, so who's got what? We can come back for it. Hey, I didn't need to pause the video after all. Sweet. I guess that was actually kind of helpful. Um, tonic would be nice, but other than that... Yeah, let's look at our HP. Yeah, we need to find a tonic soon. Especially for Emmy. Holy sh... She's gonna die, probably. No, I have to get back. I need to give this guy the shovel. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I hit my mic. He's dead. I'm not gonna bother. Sorry, Taro. You failed me for the last time. Ah, of course I'm gonna save him. I don't really care. Go, Akiko, go! Run like the wind! Ugh, he's goner. He are goner. Ah, uh, she are goner too, apparently. No, I'm not ending the video before I save him. Go, we're almost there. And let's look at his... Yeah, I think he was in like 300 before, now he's in 200, so... You can see how fast that poison works against you, so... I'm gonna stop the video here, and... I'll come back in that room with the guy that needs a shovel, I guess, so... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.